Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days, and today we are going to do a keto sweet treat, a little trick of the mind, and it's absolutely fantastic. I can't remember where I saw this from, so if I saw this, if you shared it with me, um, or if you know where I saw this from, then let me know, but I saw it the other day, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's brilliant. It's cream cheese, it's sugar-free jello, okay? Now... A lot of times, like, well, you guys saw that Whip It Up Wednesday with the uh, upside down blueberry lemon cake. You know, the whole family gets dessert, and I kind of get to sit there going, hmm, don't really want it. Don't really want it. Don't really want it. Really, I don't want it. Um, but sometimes you really would like just something a little sweet. And if you're not easily triggered by that, then this is going to fit the bill perfectly, okay? You're going to need one package of sugar-free gelatin, whether it's Jell-O brand or like you saw, I have the, the great value kind. And you're going to need one 8-ounce brick of cream cheese. So now it's 8 ounces, okay? So you're going to take it and divide it into 8 pieces, which always goes much smoother when the camera's not running, okay? So we've got one, two... Three, four, five, <laughs> or, or so. Or so. Let's just say or so. Okay? It worked really easily with the uh, other cream cheese I did. Okay, so we've got one slice. Now we've got two. So you've got two little chunks like that. Okay? Now, you're going to need a container, and it has to have a lid on it. You're going to need it to have a lid. Now, what I did was I opened up the gelatin and I just sprinkled a little bit on the bottom to prevent the cream cheese from sticking to the bottom. Okay? And then just set it to the side. And then as you get them cut up, just lay them on the bottom. So we're going to go through, we're going to do all of these. The best part about this, it's considered what they call a fat bomb. Okay, um, so that means that it's higher in fat content, um, but it still has little to no carbs. You should weigh them out. For the sake of this video, I'm just kind of doing this fast. I mean, I know it's an 8-ounce package of cream cheese. I just seem to have an issue with measuring it out in this instance. Normally, um, you would cut eight slices and then you would cut that in half and that's an easy 16 but like I said cameras on so okay this was amazing when I first saw it it blew my mind because I'm not really a fat bomb person um, I am afraid of triggers I'm afraid of anything triggering the desire to eat stuff that I'm not supposed to I can tell you that that blueberry, uh, that blueberry lemon upside down cake, um, that could have been a really bad trigger. It really could have. But I powered through it, and uh, I didn't lick the bowl. <laughs> I mean, I, I sat there and I went, wow, I would normally be licking the bowl. I would normally be testing out the batter. I would normally be licking the whisk and the spoon and anything else I could get my face close to. Um, but I didn't. And so for that, I was pretty proud of myself, but I really wanted something sweet after that. So now we've got all those in there. I'm going to take the remaining jello and I'm going to sprinkle it over the top. Okay. And then we're going to put the lid on. I just laid them all flat. In the video that I saw, from wherever I saw it, um, they just put them in there. But I'm afraid of these sticking together, so I put I laid them all flat. And now you just dun, 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 dun. okay, crack it open. This is the most amazing faux cheesecake you have ever had in your life. Strawberry cheesecake. You just take that little bite, put it in your mouth. <laughs> mm. It is amazing.
amazing. Absolutely amazing. It tastes so good. And you're not blowing your diet. Now, what you do have to watch is that you don't want to sit down and eat the entire brick, obviously. Okay. Um, let's see. For cheese, for cream cheese, one ounce is two carbs. So, theoretically, two of those pieces is two carbs. For the jello, it is zero carbs. So, you've got that sweet treat that satisfies your sweet, you know, your sweet craving. And it's only two carbs. Now, you do have to watch with the dairy part. It is so easy to overdo it with dairy on keto. Um, but if you budget your food properly, this is a game changer. Because every now and then you really just want, it just tastes so good. You just want something sweet. And I have tried keeping um, little pieces of dark chocolate in the house. But the minute I get into a, a serious funk, um, then normally they'll all disappear at one time. Which kind of blows the whole, you know, reason for having them. So the less I have to actually trigger, the less I have to, to you know, make a mistake with, um, whether it's an intentional mistake or an accidental one, the better. These hold up in the fridge beautifully. Um, Phil and I normally have one or two at night after dinner. And so, I mean, you've got, what, four nights there? Um, no, more than that, 16 nights. Yeah. So, really, really, really good. Give it a try. I am going to go to the store. Now, sugar-free gelatin is challenging to find different flavors in. They definitely have strawberry. If you like strawberry, you want to do this, okay? Um... I'm going to try to look for a uh, sugar-free lime, a sugar-free lemon, because I think it would be like a really great key lime uh, cheesecake, uh, black cherry. Oh, yeah. Possibilities are endless as long as you can find the sugar-free gelatin flavor. Okay, so that is my super simple, super easy. Oh my gosh, this was fantastic. Had to share it with everybody who's trying to do keto. Um, I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you try it. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Don't forget about Twitter. And until next time, be safe.